Hey guys, welcome to another quick episode of A Little Bit of Everything with Erin. Today we will be going over a tutorial on how to do a split letter in your Silhouette Cameo. I'm going to just do a basic letter that everybody already has a font from. It's uh, Times New Roman and we're going to just do a W. I'm going to enlarge that so it's easy for you guys to see. And I'm also going to color it in and you'll see why in a minute. So I'm just going to color it black so it's easy to read. Now I'm going to go over to my drawing tools and grab a rectangle. And I'm going to make a somewhat wide rectangle. Not crazy wide, but just enough. I'm going to color that in with white so I can see about where my hole will be. I'm going to just raise it just a smidge here. That looks fine for me. So now I'm going to highlight both items and go over here to the right side to open Modify Panel and I'm going to hit subtract. Now your tops and your bottoms are separated, so you want to go ahead and group those by highlighting your top, right clicking and hitting group, highlighting your bottom, right click and hit group. Now I'm going to go ahead and just change these back to no color so you can see again. I'm going to go back to my drawing tools and grab a rectangle again. This time I'm going to make a skinnier one and a bit on the long side. I'm going to right click that and hit duplicate so I have the same exact size and just that bring that down to the bottom one. Now I don't like the spacing in between here. I think it could be a little bigger so I'm going to grab both of these and just use my arrow key to move it up a little bit. Now I'm going to grab the two rectangles that we made and I'm going to go to alignment and it doesn't matter which one you can hit left or right just to kind of get them to be even. I think I want them to move a little bit this way though. Perfect. Okay, so then you will need to zoom in to your letter and make sure that the bar that you made is intersecting with the original letter and it is on both. So we're good there. Let's zoom back out. I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit weld. And now I'm going to fill that in for you guys. I'll take the cut lines off so it's easy to see. And now we can just take another font. We'll just say ballerina script for the heck of it. And I don't know of a last name right now. So we'll just type one in. If I can type. Clearly I can't. Okay. And then you would just size that how you need it. And then you could send it all to cut. How awesome is that? And you can do this with just about any font. Really quick, really easy, great for plaques, wedding gifts. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you hit that little bell, you'll get notifications anytime I upload a new video. If you have suggestions for other videos I should be creating, please leave a comment about those. Also, I do appreciate your guys' feedback. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!